Our courtrooms are not immune to the pandemic because of Oregon's limitations on gatherings and orders for social distancing. Courthouses are forced to reschedule many hearings and trials, and that includes a high-profile sentencing in Portland for the man convicted of killing two men on a MAX train in 2017. Fox 12's Amber Wilmarth is outside the Multnomah County Courthouse with the details. Jeremy Christian was scheduled to be sentenced next week. He killed two men on a MAX train and faces life in prison. But the district attorney's office tells us his sentencing date has now been postponed as the courthouse begins restricting all of its operations to slow the spread of COVID-19. Jeremy Christian was set to face the judge next Friday after a long emotional trial. He was convicted on all 12 counts against him, including two charges of first degree murder. The DA's office says a new sentencing date has not been chosen yet. The change was made out of concern over COVID-19. It's one of many courthouses are having to make. Oregon Chief of Justice Martha Walters sent out guidelines for courts across the state amid the pandemic, asking them to continue to provide critical services while taking safety precautions. In Multnomah County, officials are working to reduce the amount of people coming into the courthouse. While most matters involving jurors have been rescheduled, the court spokesperson says if you have been summoned for jury duty next week, make sure you call the number on your juror summons after 5 p.m. the day before. There is a chance you still could get called in. The courthouse is still accepting restraining order applications and immediate danger motions. Those have to be filed before noon at the Justice Center rather than the courthouse. When it comes to traffic and parking matters, both departments are closed for anything in person and all traffic and parking trials are being rescheduled for after April 30th. If you want to pay the ticket online, that option is still available. For more information on what other changes the courthouse is making, you can head over to our website, kptv.com, and just look for the online version of this story. Reporting in downtown Portland, Amber Wilmarth, Fox 12, Oregon.